channel. Uh, today I'll be again joined by Luke. Hello. Uh, starring Luke. Hello. Uh, for another film trailer reaction and it's to a film called Swing Kids. I double check, I said it right, Swing Kids. Yeah. And um, we got recommended this uh, film trailer by um, a really nice YouTuber. And I, I needed to do this for a good while, a good few weeks. Um, I actually need, needed to react to this, but you know, just crazy. The weekends just go past so fast. I swear it's because like, you're drinking so much. <laughs> She's the alcoholic, I'm, no. I'm good. I'm good, I don't drink that much. <gasps> uh, Behind the yeah, scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone, everyone believes you. <laughs> Believe me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we can just go so fast. Well, we can yeah. always go fast for everyone. It's mm, mm. so sad. Uh, but yeah, I'm meaning to do this, and I'm so glad I finally got a chance to react to this trailer. And um, one of the members from um, EXO are... Um, EXO is basically a famous Korean um, guy group, boy band. Guy group, boy band. And one of the members called uh, Dio is in it, and um, he's it's basically he's in this film. And apparently, I've heard about this film. It's actually a really good film. And yeah, I'll check out the. So yeah, let's check out the trailer. I'll check out the trailer. Yeah. Let's check out the trailer. She, she's saying Go she's on. singular. <laughs> I'm not even here. I'm a ghost. Oh, got some subtitles on. Whoops. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it looks like they're in war. Yeah, definitely war times. Visually, it looks really nice. I like the visuals. Oh. It's been shot really well. It's pretty, this looks good. That's him. Yeah, that's him from Exo. He looks so different in this. Yeah. Tommy oh. boy, you want to dance? I dance? You put yourself at risk if you go on that stage. Oh, this looks really good. I need to start really like this yeah. stuff. Thousands spring to their feet. It's like proving people wrong. Yeah. This looks really cool. So interesting. I've like, seen him do this film. Yeah. Wow, that looks really cool. I like you know that. What? Yeah, because dance films for a while sort of went out of fashion, didn't they? Yeah. But this one it looks really interesting because it's set in them times and, you know, he's got a point to prove. He's proving them wrong and it looks like he's doing some really good dancing in yeah. himself, but like he is. Of course, all the members of EXO can dance because they get some of the hardest dance moves ever to do. So I'm not even shocked he can he can move anyway. Like, no matter what style of dance is taught to him. Um, it's really good. It's like tap dancing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's like how in them days dance started. Um, so it was really interesting to see this film, to see how, like, you know, in them days people, you know, what sort of dances they did and how, like, you know, d I'm guessing a dance group starts from this, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I would have thought so. I think that's what's mm. going... I'm oh, sorry. I think that's what's going on, though. I think they're just building to a dance group and I think that's the end goal. And, like, the difference between this film and other, like, dance films, what I literally... Every movie in the 2000s was a dance movie. It was either a dance oh, movie so or really? an action movie. Uh, I did like some of them, but there was a bit too many, and after a bit they did... Like, in Hollywood, they did get a little boring, because they all had the same story after a bit. Yeah. And then we had the Bingo on cheerleading films, too, and they were the same as well after after the first one. Um, yeah. well, from the ones that we watched it from. Um... But, but yeah. Yeah. They flooded the market. That was their biggest problem. They flooded the market with how many mo mm. like how many dance movies um you can have, which literally had left which leads me to that point now where I don't care for dance movies. It has to be a really good dance movie to just you know get me interested in it yeah. and this one looks a lot better looks like there's an actual story um an actual relatable reason to follow the main character in this because the guy seems like he's at war was part of war mm. um and it seems really really interesting and something i can get behind because it just seems like they've actually put a story there comparing it to the old like the one you've always seen before yeah, the love interest and mm. that's it <laughs> Very different from them films. Like me and Lou watched the Bring It On films three and four for a laugh, but um, the first one I did enjoy Bring It On. But yeah, there was 
a big girl wasn't really down to film, it was more cheerleading, but this film looks so interesting. And I think, yeah, I just like the feel of it that it's just set in them times. And yeah, no one's expecting anyone to just come out and dance out of nowhere in them times, especially. Um, but like, dance has just gotten so huge over the years, like, all over the world, people enjoy it. Everyone loves dance, everyone literally loves to dance anyway, all over the world. Um, unless you're just boring. <laughs> <laughs> Luke can't stop himself, you know. Luke's always Luke's got happy feet naturally, as you see all the videos on my channel of Luke <laughs> dancing and you know twerking. You know, you can't stop Luke. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. My mine's just literally just you know for them only fans. That's what it's for. <laughs> you know, I need to get that only so fans. So for his career. only fans and his you know yeah. all those followers. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, hot Luke. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, he looks like he's doing really good acting in this, the um, Dio from EXO. Dio from EXO, oh, has a ring to it. He looks like he's doing uh, really, really good acting in it as well. Like I can't, I've never seen him act, so it'd be interesting to see him. And, but I, lo I love it though, like so many K-pop stars get into acting and like, yeah. you know, on um, TV series and films as well. And it's really interesting to see them, you know, give it a go. Yeah, yeah. I like it because then it shows like different sides. I like when they do that because it shows different sides to them as well. Like you see their music side, then you get to see you know them in films, their film mm. side, mm. and yeah. It looks good. Mm. It looks good. I'd watch it definitely. This was the guy Dio. I thought was dating Jenny. I got really confused. Jenny from Blackpink. I thought Dio was dating yeah, um, basically Blackpink's Jenny um, around the time when she was dating him because I thought Dio was Kai. <laughs> I was only just started to listen to EXO's music, so I wasn't really um, sure who was who. And I'm so stupid. For a good few months, I thought Jenny was dating him. <laughs> I was like, Luke, is that one? Is that one? Is that one she's dating? And Luke's like, oh, okay. And um, Luke not even sure himself. And it turned out at the end of it, I was like, one minute, Kai's the other one. I thought Kai was D this one, Dio. I got really confused. And then I don't know where I even got that info from that she was dating him. It's like I imagined it or something. But um, I, thought, it. I thought she was dating him. I was like, Jenny's dating him, but no, she's dating Kai. <laughs> it was actually, she, she's dating, I thought his name was Kai. And I, I was like, I got the one person, but she was actually dating the one who is <laughs> one of the main dancers, I'm guessing. Well, I don't know, they're all good dancers anyway, Nexo. But you see, I think that, I think Kai's the main one, Nexo, I think. I'm not sure. She's useless. I know. Don't rely on her. Don't believe it. Don't believe me. Yeah. Next time I say Jenny's dating someone, don't believe me. I'll get the wrong person again and give them the wrong name. Always happens. Oh my god. But yeah, we'll definitely check this out. We'll see if it's actually on Netflix. I think not. she said it was on Netflix. As well. Oh, it's on Netflix. Said it, I think they said it was on Let's Netflix. Let's watch it on Netflix then. Well. 100%. The only thing I'm thinking to myself mm. is it on UK Netflix? So. <gasps> oh, please be on UK Netflix. Just oh, because no. we know what. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, UK that's... Netflix is a lot different to the Korean Netflix, unfortunately. So fingers mm. crossed it's on the English Netflix. I know, yes. A bit different. There is a lot of like. Not so great films on the trash. UK Netflix. The UK Netflix is yeah, trash. You pay, you pay that money for it monthly, oh. and then we just get you just get a bunch of rubbish TV shows and films on Netflix. But then you do get some really good ones, but then some of them are so bad. And I'm like, well, who would sit there and watch it? The worst one for me is Amazon. Amazon makes some put some absolute garbage stuff on their channel. Like they uh, do, like to find a good film on Amazon is really difficult. But their TV shows are good. That's what's so weird. But yeah, that's what don't make sense. It'll be very rarely they'll put on a good film. To be honest, Netflix are a bit better than, than I was under that one though. But mm. yeah, very rarely they'll put on a great film because we watched that um, Chadwick Boseman film on um, Amazon, which was a good film, the one that came out last year. Yeah, we watched yeah. that on Amazon, but I. But yeah, a lot of time <laughs> you'll be fishing to find something good on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, Netflix, some well, you know, sometimes you do get some rubbish stuff. Good and bad on Netflix. It's a like half and half, isn't it? On Netflix and Amazon, will be like oh, only some good, one or two good films here and there, oh, which is quite sad. Yeah. But yeah, we'll watch this film. We'll check it out. Go um, do a review as well. Yeah, we should do a review. We'll do a review. We'll get a review for this movie as well. Hundred percent. We will do a review for it. Yeah. And yeah, so if you hope you enjoyed this reaction to Swing Kids, and um, 
was gonna say don't forget to leave a like share and subscribe to both mine and luke's channels and follow us on our social medias as well and turn on the notification bell and thank you so much for watching and we appreciate everyone we love you all that's what i'm trying to say sorry <laughs> <laughs> useless useless <laughs>